So yes, there's a bird on my shoulder. Uh, how did it get there, you ask? Well, I will tell you the story. So my brother and his girlfriend went for a walk in the park and they saw a bird on the floor. It was the size of a meatball, basically. Couldn't barely fly or do anything. And it was all alone and needed help. So my brother gave me a call and I jumped in my car and I drove all the way there, put him in the car, put his seatbelt on, brought him back. And the first day he was very, very weak, very tired, had low energy. And, but the next day he came alive. I couldn't believe it. He was so alert. He was so curious about the backyard. He just wanted to explore. But also he wanted that food. He wanted food. So I got the food ready and we just hung out, just went for walks. Well, I went for a walk. He just jumped on my foot, which he loved to do. You sipping in your plate again, mister? There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on, come, come, come. Come on, come, 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 come. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you are next. Okay. I fed meatball a combination of Gerber baby food and moist cat food. And meatball was like a little vacuum. We just loved this food. And it was necessary to build up that strength so that um, meatball would chase me and fly around all through the driveway and in the yard and everywhere. This little bird was the best in quarantine. Just flying free. Two hours later, come back. Coming down. Whoa! Oh! It's raining like crazy. Hold on. Right now. How you feel, Meaty? Meaty's okay. You got rescued. Right here in the dirt. Our bond was incredible. I mean, this bird would always look for me through the window, always wait for me to come outside, and it was just like automatic. It was, uh, it was very natural. And I remember having to clean her the first time by hand, and slowly. She began to have fun on her own. She loved the water. Every day she would just play in the water. That was her favorite thing. And just splashing everywhere. And it was just the coolest thing I ever saw. To be to be up close, this close to a bird, when normally you couldn't do this. She would see me on the roof and be like, Why can't you come up here and join me? And I was like, I can't fly. Only you can. She was a little fighter jet, and she had the one power I wish I had to fly. It was so cool. I had to make sure that she was prepared to find her own food and know what food looks like. And so we would go on bug hunts together, worm hunts, and she was ready to fly away. She was ready to take on the world. And once she got her final coat of feathers, she was ready to fly. And she was a girl all along. It was amazing.